Mornings in West Virginia are so peaceful. I love to go outside with my camera before anybody's awake and see what the sunrise is doing over the far hills. Those puffy clouds are above the Greenbrier River and that fog rises every morning and obscures the landscape in peace. Before anybody wakes up, let's go inside and I'll show you my mother's house just a little bit. This is her cozy living room with her heater over there, and her chairs and lamps. On the kitchen table she keeps roses and a candle that I brought to her. Before she can get up, I'm going to make breakfast. These eggs are from my brother and sister-in-law's hens just down the road, and soon everybody's gathering on the front porch to talk. The next thing we're going to do is go to Beartown State Park, a wonderful rock formation near my mother's house. Beartown has been a favorite place for our family to go for fun for many years. All of the cousins and grandchildren have gone there for a long time. And now it was my turn to take my son and his wife and their baby. It was very fun, very beautiful. So now I'll just let you wander through Beartown with us along the boardwalk and look at all of the huge rocks and the, um, the wonderful wildlife and the things that grow there. This is the wooden fire tower, or observation tower, on Droop Mountain at Droop Mountain State Park. 
We brought our children and their cousins here so many times, many years ago, probably 20 and 25 years ago. The view from this hill and from the top of that tower just cannot be beat. There must be multiple counties that you can see from here. This is Pocahontas County in West Virginia, a very remote area. Let's go up the tower and see the view even better. There's also a wonderful swing set and slide here. They're kind of old and a little dangerous, but the children used to love to swing on those swings as high as they possibly could. It was really a very fun place to come with little children. Now we're going to visit my brother and sister-in-law's beautiful farm again, White Oak Farm. I've taken you here before. Maybe I can show you some new things this time. She's planted some lovely fall flowers around the sign. And there, there's, there's their, um, their nice farmhouse. Max grew a lot of pumpkins this year, as I told you before, and uh, they've decorated around the farm with them. This is the shed where they sell their blueberries, and they've also been making cider. He has apple trees, and this is an old cider press from 1866. That's the patent date on it. It's an old family item, and they made cider with it this year that we enjoyed while we were there. Look at the beautiful landscape. The trees turning and the leaves on the ground. My sister-in-law grows beautiful flowers in, in their vegetable garden, and I think she, she used to sell them. I don't know if she still does. Makes wonderful arrangements. And this is just the end of it. Now here's the pumpkins. My brother breaks them up and throws them into the pasture for his sheep. And the sheep we're going to see here are his lambs. There they are hiding around the corner. Two of the lambs were bottle-fed this year, so they're friendlier with uh, Max and the other people. Um, that come to visit. And that's one of the bottle-fed fed lambs that's coming to say hello to him. They have numbers that have been painted on their back. That's what the orange markings are. The second one was not bottle-fed, but was also a little bit braver. And the third one there is the other bottle-fed lamb. Now, these lambs are six months old now, so they don't look like little bitty lambs anymore. I think the last time I showed you uh, his farm, he did have two very small lambs. Maybe those were the bottle-fed ones then. So they're peeking around the corner. They're wondering what we're up to. I love to walk around the farm with him and see all the things that he's doing. He's actually um, acquiring quite a few sheep now. He has um, a ram and I think nine ewes that we're going to see in a second. And then I don't know how many of these uh, sheep he's got, these uh, lambs. Uh, I think at least six maybe. So they're going to go around the corner. Now this is another part of the barn where he is storing the pumpkins before he gives them to the sheep to eat. So you see he has quite a few and we gathered some of the greener ones that were still left in the pumpkin patch. They're very beautiful. So, so fallish. It just makes you happy to see that bright orange color. These are his two farm dogs. The one on the right over there, well, they're switching places now. The one with the darker muzzle is um, a great Pyrenees, and his name is Romy, after an old friend of Max's. And the other dog is called Alaska. And she is not a full-bred um, Pyrenees, but they get along well. You can see the sheep over there. That's a pretty deep hole. There's Romy. He laid down for me to give him a tummy scratch. scratch. Um, and here are some more of Anne's flowers. I guess these are nasturtiums she has growing in her, um, in her flower patch. And we gathered some. These are the pumpkins we got out of the patch that Max had left in there. And um, some of them, they all had some green to them. I thought they were very pretty. We did a photo shoot with my grandson around the pumpkins, and that was very fun. He's adorable. I brought two of these back home and have them sitting on my um, back steps along with my Walmart pumpkins.
And I didn't show Max's butternut squash. He got a bunch of those, and I brought three of those home. Now, here my son is making pita bread outside on the grill. He has a round grill that has a, a plate on it that he brought for um, cooking something just like this. He started out rolling them and then later decided that rolling didn't do as well as just stretching them by hand. But this is this is the first one. This is a trial run. Um, so he threw that on there, put the lid back on. I think a big part of it is um, getting it hot enough. Now that's Pondy. That's, uh, and there's the other two dogs, Charlie and Maddie. They have three dogs and they're very fun. Okay, now he's trying another batch. The griddle's a little bit hotter. We never did get them to puff all the way up and make a big pocket, but they got pretty puffy and they were absolutely delicious. Watch me pick the hair out on video. <laughs> we won't tell. <laughs> yeah, you got well, that one's got a bubble in the middle. grass on it as well. Is it able to be hot enough? That part of it? it may not be. It may need to rise a little more. Oh well. They're really pretty. There's my they good. Son. There's that treacherous slide. <laughs> and now we get to see Lily. Good morning, Lily. Hello. Good morning. The last morning I was in West Virginia, the light at sunrise was just astounding. It was kind of lavender. It was, it's difficult to explain how beautiful it was. And I looked out the window and saw it shining on the trees. And I couldn't capture it with the camera, but oh my goodness, it was fabulous. I hope you've enjoyed this little trip with my family. See you soon. Thanks for joining me. Please leave a comment below if you'd like to. I'd love to hear from you. And if you enjoyed this channel, I'd love it if you would subscribe so I can see you here again. If you like this particular video, then please click the thumbs up button, uh, which tells me that you really like this particular content. There's also a little bell down there that will help you get notifications every time a new video comes out on my channel. Thank you.